Elisa Shaw was a bright college student from Brooklyn, New York, who loved to travel. So when Christmas break came, her family decided to take a trip to Thailand to escape the blistering cold of New York during the season. Little did they know that their trip would turn into a nightmare. En route to Thailand, Elisa and her family were awakened by an emergency warning by the pilot. The plane was about to crash. Panic erupted as the passengers scrambled for their lives. The plane landed on the waters in the Gulf of Thailand with a loud crash, killing almost all of the passengers on the plane. In the chaos, Elisa was separated from her family. She struggled to survive with her life vest on and clinging onto floating plane debris. The sound of the crashing waves was deafening, but it was nothing compared to the horror that was about to unfold. Elisa managed to get on top of one of the floating rafts from the plane. She could see other passengers floating lifelessly on the surface. The life vest didn't do anything to save them from the impact of the crash. She could see mangled carcasses floating lifelessly past her. Some burnt, while some simply had limbs and other body parts missing due to the impact. It was a scene straight out of a horror movie. In the quiet of the sea, Elisa noticed several fins gliding in the surface. She already knew what they were, and she watched in horror as the floating carcasses disappeared one by one with a snap from these predators from the deep. The attacking predators were bull sharks, common in the Gulf of Thailand. These creatures were massive and ruthless, and they were hungry. Elisa was alone at sea with floating carcasses serving like food for the sharks around the area. One shark swam dangerously close to her, and Elisa thought that the shark was after her. But in a violent snap, the creature, a 14-foot bull shark, leapt like a torpedo from the waters and snapped at a floating mangled carcass near Elisa's floating raft. The attack was sickening with a bone-chilling crunch. The shark latched onto the lifeless body, swallowing it from head to torso before splashing back in the water, dragging its food into the depths of the ocean. Elisa had never seen a shark feeding frenzy before. Five to ten sharks were constantly roaming the area, devouring any dead carcass that they saw floating in the water. Elisa couldn't help but cry as she thought about her family. She knew that the rest of her family were already dead now, or eaten by these crazed predators. The sun was beating down on Elisa, and she felt like she was being cooked alive under the scorching heat. She was thirsty, hungry, and in dire need of shade. She couldn't take it anymore, so she decided to jump into the water to cool herself down. She held onto the side of the life raft while her body was submerged in the water. It wasn't the coolest of all waters, but it was better than the blazing heat on the raft. As the blistering sun beat down on Elisa's exposed skin, she felt the salt water's cool embrace wash over her submerged body. Suddenly, a dark fin cut through the surface, silently gliding towards her like a menacing specter from the abyss. Elisa's heart pounded in her chest, her panicked mind already aware of the threat that loomed beneath. She tried to hoist herself up onto the raft, but her fear paralyzed her, rendering her immobile. The fin disappeared from sight, but Elisa knew that the danger was still there, lurking just beneath her. And then, with no warning, she felt a sharp searing pain as the jaws of a monstrous shark clamped down on her leg, crushing bone and flesh alike. She cried out in agony as the excruciating pain spread throughout her body. The predator latched onto Elisa's leg with its razor-sharp teeth and its powerful jaws. The shark was pulling on Elisa's leg, dragging her underwater. Elisa could feel the water filling her lungs as she tried to scream for help. She thrashed around, trying to escape from the shark's grip, but it was too strong. With a sudden, violent pull, the beast yanked Elisa's body from the safety of the raft, sending her hurtling through the water like a rag doll in a hurricane. The force of the attack was overwhelming and Elisa felt herself spinning out of control, completely at the mercy of the rampaging shark. As she was pulled deeper into the water, Elisa's vision began to fade, and she knew she was going to die. 
She thought of her family and the life she would have had if they had survived. She struggled to stay conscious, but the pain was too much. Finally, she lost consciousness, and her body sank into the depths of the ocean. The tragedy that struck the ill-fated plane became a global headline, leaving everyone in shock and grief. Despite the relentless rescue missions, none of the passengers were able to survive the devastating crash. The wreckage, now a graveyard of twisted metal and debris, lay scattered across the vast ocean, a haunting reminder of the tragedy that occurred. For Elisa Shaw, her story remained untold. The terror that she endured in the last minutes of her life was known only to the merciless ocean and the relentless predators that roamed its depths. No one could ever imagine the fear and despair that gripped her as she fought for her life. In the middle of the sea, surrounded by hungry sharks and the lifeless bodies of her fellow passengers. Her screams and cries for help were drowned out by the relentless crashing waves, and her fate was sealed as the rampaging shark dragged her away from the safety of the raft into the depths of the ocean, where her story would forever remain a mystery. For months, Anna had been yearning for a slice of heaven on earth, a tropical getaway that would erase the stresses of her life. As she stepped foot on the powdery white sand beaches of Indonesia, she knew that her dreams had finally come true. The palm trees that stood tall and proud swayed back and forth in a gentle rhythm, their leaves rustling like a soft symphony. The gentle breeze that blew in from the ocean carried with it the scent of salt and fresh coconut, a heady fragrance that made her feel alive. The water was so clear that she could see the vibrant colors of the corals and the myriad of fish that flitted back and forth beneath the surface. The sun, a ball of fire in the sky, beat down on her skin, warming her to her very core. But amidst all the beauty, there was a sense of danger lurking beneath the surface, a feeling that made her spine tingle with apprehension. She knew that the ocean held secrets, secrets that were waiting to be revealed and as she ventured further into the depths, she couldn't help but feel a sense of foreboding. On the first day of her dream tropical vacation, Anna wasted no time in making her way to the beach. The hot sand burned her feet as she made her way to the water's edge, but she didn't mind. She was too excited to feel anything but exhilaration. The clear water called to her, and she couldn't resist dipping her toes in. The sensation was invigorating, and she felt a sense of relief wash over her. Slowly but surely, Anna ventured deeper into the water, each step more enticing than the last. The turquoise waves gently rocked her back and forth as she waded in deeper. The water felt cool and refreshing against her skin, like a balm on a hot day. Anna felt alive, and she wanted to experience everything the sea had to offer. She looked out at the vast expanse of the ocean and felt a thrill of excitement. The water grew cooler as she swam further out, but it only made her more eager to explore. She felt small in the face of the immense sea, but the thrill of adventure kept her going. Little did she know that danger lurked beneath the waves, waiting to strike at any moment. The tranquility of the open sea was shattered as Anna felt an excruciating pain on her leg. In disbelief, she looked down and saw a colossal tiger shark with its razor-sharp teeth sinking into her calf. Fear quickly consumed her as the predator's powerful jaws clamped down tighter, refusing to let go. Anna's body jolted as the shark started to thrash around, pulling her deeper and deeper into the water, and her screams were muffled by the salty seawater. The crushing sensation of the shark's grip was overwhelming, tearing her flesh and bones apart. Anna's blood-curdling screams echoed through the clear blue waters as the massive tiger shark continued to drag her deeper and deeper into the abyss. Her friends stood paralyzed on the shore, their hearts pounding with fear and desperation as they scanned the vast expanse of the ocean for any sign of help. The nearest lifeguard station was miles away, leaving them little hope for a quick rescue. Time was running out, 
and they knew they had to act fast to save Anna's life. Anna's friend bravely leaped into the water, wielding a surfboard like a shield against the massive predator. But the tiger shark was relentless, its beady eyes fixed on its prey. Its jaws lined with razor-sharp teeth clamped onto Anna's flesh, causing her to scream in agony. The more Anna struggled, the harder the shark pulled her deeper and deeper into the dark, murky depths of the ocean. Her energy was draining fast, and with each passing moment, she felt like she was losing the battle against the ferocious beast. The thought of never seeing her loved ones again filled her with dread, and she feared that her life was slipping away before her eyes. As Anna's vision began to blur and her hope began to fade, she saw a speck on the horizon. As the object grew closer, it became clear that it was a small boat, manned by a group of rugged-looking men. The boat bounced and rocked on the waves as it approached, and Anna's heart pounded with a mixture of fear and hope. As the boat grew closer, she could see that the men were Brazilians, their weathered faces lined with years of experience on the open sea. With a sense of urgency, the fishermen leapt into action, their hands moving quickly and purposefully as they prepared to take on the deadly predator. With adrenaline pumping through their veins, the fishermen fought tooth and nail against the massive tiger shark. The creature's jaw seemed impenetrable, its grip unyielding. And his friends watched in horror from the shore, praying for a miracle. The struggle seemed to last an eternity. But finally, with one last desperate push, the fishermen were able to pry the shark's jaws apart and free Anna from its grip. Gasping for breath and in excruciating pain, Anna was quickly pulled onto the boat and taken to the shore. Her friends hovered anxiously around her as she was whisked away to the nearest hospital. The journey seemed to take forever, every second feeling like an eternity. Finally, they arrived and Anna was rushed into emergency treatment. The brutal shark attack had left Anna deeply shaken, her body and mind still reeling from the trauma. Every time she closed her eyes, she could still feel the shark's sharp teeth sinking into her flesh and dragging her down into the abyssal depths. The once beautiful tropical paradise had turned into a nightmare for her, and she felt a deep sense of regret for having ever underestimated the dangers of the ocean. The ocean had always held a special place in Damon's heart. As a child, he would eagerly wait for the summer to arrive, so he could spend every moment he could on the beach, diving into the waves and exploring the depths below. His love for the sea only grew stronger as he got older, and he longed for a way to turn his passion into a career. So when he heard about the opportunity to work as a shark tank cleaner in a state-of-the-art shark research facility in Florida, he leapt at the chance. It was a dream come true for Damon, a chance to work up close and personal with some of the most fearsome predators in the ocean. The facility was massive, and the tanks were even bigger. The largest of them all housed a great white shark, an apex predator that could easily swallow a person whole. Damon couldn't help but feel a sense of unease as he approached the tank, the water inside churning and frothing with power. Damon couldn't tear his gaze away from the sharks as he worked, mesmerized by their fluid movements and powerful bodies. One day, as he finished scrubbing the walls of the tank, a chill ran down his spine. Something was off. The great white in particular was acting erratic, thrashing around in the water, its movements frenzied and unpredictable. Damon's heart pounded in his chest as the shark circled closer and closer to him, its dead black eyes seeming to bore into his soul. He could feel the weight of the predator stare on him, and a sense of dread settled in the pit of his stomach. Something was definitely wrong, and Damon knew that he was in danger. Panic set in as Damon felt the Great White's agitation intensify. He could sense the predator's growing hostility, and he knew that he needed to get out of the tank fast. With his heart hammering in his chest, Damon slowly moved towards the ladder, every movement calculated and deliberate. But just as he was about to make his escape, the shark exploded into a frenzy, its massive jaws gaping open like a portal to hell. 
Damon froze in terror as the beast hurtled towards him, teeth glinting in the dim light. He could feel the rush of water as the shark closed in, its savage hunger sending shivers down his spine. Desperation took hold of Damon as he tried to flee, but the great white was like a torpedo in the water, closing in on him with lightning speed. In a split second, the shark's massive jaws clamped down on Damon's leg, sending searing pain through his body. He could feel the sharp teeth piercing his flesh, tearing through muscle and sinew with ease. The pressure was immense as the shark dragged him down to the bottom of the tank, its massive body overpowering him. The water was murky with blood, and Damon's vision blurred as he fought to stay conscious. He knew that he was no match for the relentless predator, and he could feel his strength slipping away. But something deep within him refused to give up. He clawed his way back towards the surface, his body racked with agony but his will to survive, overpowering the pain. In that moment, Damon knew that he had to fight with everything he had if he wanted to make it out of the tank alive. Panic flooded Damon's mind as he struggled to find a way out of the nightmarish situation. In a moment of clarity, he remembered the emergency button on the side of the tank. With his heart pounding in his chest, he reached out and slammed his hand on the button, hoping against all hope that someone would hear the alarm and come to his aid. But as he waited for the sound of approaching footsteps, a sinking feeling settled in the pit of his stomach. The great white refused to let go of its prey, its jaws clamped shut with deadly force, tearing Damon's flesh and bones. Damon's screams were muffled by the water as he felt his strength began to ebb away. He could feel his vision dimming as the shark continued to drag him down and he knew that he was in grave danger. As seconds ticked by, Damon was filled with a sense of despair. As Damon struggled to stay conscious, he heard a sudden splash and the sound of urgent voices above him. He looked up to see a team of rescuers armed with dark tranquilizer guns, their faces grim and determined. The great white had clamped its jaws around Damon's leg, its massive body thrashing back and forth with savage force. Damon felt like he was drowning in the chaos of the attack. His world reduced to the pain in his leg and the jaws that seemed like they would never let go. The researchers fired their tranquilizer darts, aiming with deadly accuracy as the shark continued to circle and snap. It was a race against time, with Damon's life hanging in the balance. Each shot was a gamble, a desperate attempt to subdue the frenzied predator before it could take another life. With each passing moment, the stakes grew higher and the tension more unbearable. Finally, one of the darts found its mark, sinking deep into the shark's flesh. Damon watched in disbelief as a great white suddenly went limp, its massive body sinking to the bottom of the tank. The jaws that had been moments away from ending his life released their grip, and Damon felt himself being pulled to safety by the rescue team. As he was rushed to the hospital, Damon knew that he had narrowly escaped death. The tranquilizer dart had saved his life, but the memory of the shark's relentless attack would haunt him forever. He couldn't shake the feeling that the ocean was a dark and dangerous place, full of hidden threats and unknown terrors. For Damon, the lure of the ocean would never be the same again. <laughs>